Hey everyone, this is me Sadhya here and I'm doing your first week of December reading start from the 1st through the 7th of December 2020. This is going to be for the sign of the Sagittarius. So let's see what is coming up for you guys for this week time uh, starting today. I will be adding charms, I will be pulling out oracle cards as well, so stay tuned. And now while I shuffle the cards, let me remind you it's a general reading, it may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the messages which are resonating and leave the rest. For personal readings, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings. Let's dive into the reading. Let's see what is coming up for you guys for this week time starting today. Let's begin. Eight of Wands. You're really looking for some sort of growth. Uh, be that in career, be that in your personal growth, be that in your love life, be that in uh, anything. I do see that you are looking forward to have some sort of growth. You really want to grow, uh, you know, uh, individually on, on mental or personal level. Uh, you really want to grow a connection that you have with a specific someone. Uh, you want to grow, uh, you know, your, your financial abundance. So I feel like, you know, you are working towards um, some sort of growth as you start of the month, as you start of the week. Uh, you're excited. You're happy. You are, you know, passionate. Uh, about something let's see more cards here king of cups you might be communicating with someone specific in your life right now as you start of the week um this person could be your love interest um but there's a strong chance of uh Having this communication, um, getting to the, you know, to the next level. It's, it's not going to be like quick kind of a thing happening between you and this person, whoever it is that you are talking to. But yes, there is a strong potential in this connection that you are having with the specific someone. I do see you communicating with someone. Um, this person could be a water sign um, or... Um, If not, then they do have water signs as, you know, as a stronger position in their chart, astrological chart. Because I feel like, you know, whoever it is, uh, whoever this person is that, that you are talking to, that you are, you know, uh, communicating with, um, this person is very deep. You are talking to this person a lot. It doesn't have to be, you know, somebody for for you know with, with an intention of having a love affair with it's just that you are starting you know you you have started talking to them and then there is a strong sense of uh, getting to know each other you know the interest is pretty much there to know each other more so to see how it goes or how it pans out in in, in your life so i do see you communicating a lot uh, with this one person but yes, I do see there is a strong potential in this connection between a, between the two of you. Let's see more cards here. Ten of Swords. Um, it's not going to last long. Now, why it won't last long? That is going to be different for different people. But I do see that it's not going to last long. Even though there was potential, but it's not going to last long. The reason would be different for different people. Maybe you are going to be the one to end this. Or maybe they are going to be the one to end this. But it's ending. Even though there was a potential, it's not going to last. Nine of Wands. Somebody has their guards up. It can be you, it can be them. You know, I do see you starting off the week talking to this person. You're starting off the month talking to this person. And, you know, you are ready to explore. You're ready to give in to this, you know, one, one connection. And then something happens and you just uh, pull away. Either you pull away or that person pulls away. Let's see more cards here chariot the reason could be like you know uh this person could be living at a distance from you and um you don't see any compatibility there that could be the reason like you know maybe you start talking to this person online and then you're going to find out like this person lives at a far off distance and you don't want to pursue this connection because you don't want that kind of connection anyways so it could be you pulling uh, yourself out of this connection or it could be them pulling out of uh, this connection as well and it's not going to be something which is going to be like um It is something that you don't want to deal with. Like maybe you have dealt with such a situation in the past as well. So you don't want to go through the same thing again. Maybe you had, you know, people in the past as well who, who were living at a distance from you. And then you continue with that connection and it never ended well. So maybe that's the reason why you are just pulling yourself away. 
or that person is doing that for the same reason and in the day you do have three of cups but i do see you happy i mean it, it doesn't uh, you know I, I feel like the connection that you started having it didn't get you know um what we call it uh, strong enough where you know when it ends it's it's not going to bother you much because it was more like uh, you know let's see how it goes it didn't go well it it ended um or it will you know it it is you know starting off with very you know positive vibe and then it's not going to go well and it's going to end now it doesn't bother you much because it was like never the intention to to take this connection to the next level so i feel like it's going to be a cool week for you um let's see one card from this deck let's see what it has to add to the reading two of abundance i feel like you know you are you are ready to take uh, you know take chances like that but you know it's it's your call your choice whether you want to pursue or you want to quit life may be feeling a little out of balance right now you could be working multiple jobs or trying to make change to your dream career <clears throat> it is important to keep things light and stay in touch with your inner child make your work as playful as possible multitasking with a positive attitude brings success i feel like you know it's it's something like a time pass for you because maybe you are too focused on your work and career right now and you at, at the side you want something fun in your life as well so that's what you had with this person um let's see one more card here imagination envision a new reality give yourself permission to dream believe in unlimited possibilities um i feel like you know if you are willing to have somebody stable in your love life and if you really want to have that kind of connection you really have to start imagining yourself being with the perfect or the ideal person that's how you will attract that person in your reality let's take uh, one card from this deck and then we're going to take thumbs honesty is essential speak with love and truth number 38 i feel like you both you both had your guards up in one way or the other in this particular situation and even you know even if you want to go for another connection i feel like you know there are certain you know blocks that you are having within you it's like you know you are wearing a you know false self mask and that's how you're trying to attract somebody in your life right now maybe you are not ready completely to go for a connection in your love life it's it's like you know you really have to be honest to yourself are you really willing to be in a relationship are you really willing to have that committed uh you know person in your life do you have space for that one person or are you completely ready to give into a connection like that because i feel like you know there is something you know which is which is like uh, you are also not aware of you you are not completely ready for that kind of connection is what i'm picking up so there are certain things that you need to talk to uh uh you know uh talk to yourself about so just do that before you dive into any relationship because i feel like you know if as long as you are keeping it fun and light it's all good but i don't see you prepared to be in a committed relationship now that's when the imagination comes like you know if you really want something stable something beautiful something long term you really have to start imagining that you have to keep telling yourself that this is what you desire this is what you want but right now the situation seems exactly the opposite that's why this happened you started communication and then you ended it why because you were not prepared for it let's see what the chance has to add to the reading four of cups there will be opportunities coming ahead for you as well but again decide what do you want i choose strength i feel like you no know, you are not ready right now to be in a committed relationship you 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 rather feel like you know uh staying single enjoying life right now live the life you love and i feel like you know that that the life that you love right now is pretty much you being single you you really love yourself you really love your freedom as well and um i feel like you know whenever you want from from all your heart you will get that person in your life you really have to start you know um just imagining them and they are going to enter in your life that's how it you know that's how easy it will be um but i feel like you know you 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 really have to take the mask off only then you are going to get what the uh, uh, you know whatever kind of a person that you that you would like to have in your life so yeah that's pretty much it coming up for you for this week time uh if the reading resonated with you to like subscribe and share if you're willing to get a personal reading you can always reach out to me for that on my email id in the description box till later the next week for you guys take care bye bye